Hi, this is Nico. Um, I got some books from my father, which uh, we had in our youth. Uh, my brothers uh, used them as well. So a lot of them I got like they are right now. Uh, so they're missing some of the parts. But I want to go through one of the books today in this video. Uh, but I'll first show you uh, which they are. This is the 1980 ID book. This is another ID book, but I can't remember which year it was. Uh, it's a bit older, and this is one of the Technic ID books from the 80s, I believe. Uh, but today we will cover this one because this is the most iconic for me. I remember daydreaming. Staring at those base plates, wanting to have them. But I think I had two or maybe four of them. But that was it, so I could not even create this one because I had one of each. Uh, one of the straights as well. So, yeah, that uh, was a nice daydreaming page. This, I liked the city overview. I don't think I remember what this was. It was just a house to me. But here you can see it's the barber shop. I remember wanting to have the Shell station. Because I thought it looked cool in the supermarket. But I think that was because of the stickers. Well, as you can see, it's a bit tearing apart. It's been used by at least two, probably three kids. Maybe even four with the other older book. Uh, it's been used by four kids. But yeah, uh, I didn't see those as instructions. I think I couldn't see back then quite how to build it. Well, maybe this one I did, but I didn't have the stickers. So it wasn't interesting to build it because you couldn't make it this specific. Uh, yeah, here's the entire street view, which is nice. I think I wanted to build things with the signs because I had some of the signs. Uh, the hospital I liked, but I couldn't build. I could build the car, which is here on the side. This car, this was a fun build as a kid. Uh, I believe I did have the Red Cross uh, bricks, so probably one of my brothers uh, put it on one of the bricks. Yeah, I remember not having the sticker or both of the stickers on this page, like this one and this one. So that made me not want to build it as a kid. Well, the police building it was fun, but uh, I wasn't into the police building back then. Uh, the animal built bricks. I wasn't into that back then as well. And I thought it was weird to have the soldiers as uh, entertainment employees. Yeah. I didn't like the plate build for scenery. I did love the night time and the lights and the transparent bricks ones. Those were really nice. But I never owned one of the electric boxes, so I couldn't do that. I did have some of the transparent bricks. But because I couldn't do it, or couldn't build it, I didn't look into it that much. Now the windmill, I remembered, I thought this would spin around as well with the, uh, with the power functions, but that was only for the light, but I didn't see that at the time. But I never built it, like I said, because uh, 
Well, I thought there wasn't uh, wasn't a, an option for me because I didn't have the light and it wouldn't look that cool. I never looked that much into this place except for the normal boat because I had the hull of the boat. But I couldn't figure out how to build it. I think I was four or five. Uh, I just loved watch, uh, watching the pictures. The police boat I built. And this other boat, uh, I think it's a speed boat I built as well. And I believe I have this crane part. I had it as a kid as well. So maybe I would have tried to make something like that. This would interest me. The rails. The train track. So a building like this. That I would build. This one I could see. But I didn't have the sloped yellow ones, so I would uh, make up something of my own. And I believe I built this as well. The boat I didn't like because uh, in my mind it couldn't float. I don't know if it does or not. But I wouldn't build it. And this one I built because it was a small one, the speedboat. I built because it was a small build and I had the bricks lying around probably. Yeah, some of the trucks. Again, it's uh, the boat on the floating hull, which is nice. I really love those repair shop stickers. And I think I built this one because I had this uh, forklift part with a uh, spring on it. And I enjoyed playing with the spring. Well, this appears to be a moving company. I didn't see that at the time, I only saw the, the stickers right here. These ones for the repair shop kind of thing. Or maybe it's a, a shopping mall or something where you can buy different things. But yeah, I wanted to have that sticker. And then I saw the railroad track enjoyed that. I didn't know what kind of building this was, but the railroad track. I always wanted to watch. So this one I thought was weird because yeah, well I hear drives on the railroad track, so maybe I built this, but I don't think I built the other part because it didn't have the doors. And it didn't have the little fences, I think. So I couldn't figure that how this would stay afloat. I probably did have the antenna because I had a lot of uh, classic space back then. I really loved that. Yeah, this I thought was probably a school on the moon or something. But then I saw this image with all the trees on it and I was like, hmm. So it's in a city on a moon plate? Oh, yeah, that was weird to my brain. That was like impossible. Well, this I wanted to have, but I never tried to build it. I couldn't figure out how to build this shop. Oh, I really enjoyed the airplanes. Especially because of the transparent bricks in them. I really love the transparent yellow. And I really wanted to have all those flags. I believe I had one back then. Oh, so this nearly shows you how to build this one, but it didn't show it at all, so I guess I didn't build it. Or maybe I tried. At oh, this I really enjoyed. Because it had the classic space figures on it uh, here as well. And it was lit up. That was really cool. But I didn't understand it was a cinema back then. I thought they were watching a movie. Maybe. Maybe it was just somebody's home. I don't know. I don't have any memories of this being a cinema. Maybe there was some kind of future thing where you could see your future because they were going into the spaceship later on. 
maybe I didn't even understand it was a story with the same people. I didn't pay attention that much. I only looked at the transparent this, this plane we did have. I think I built that one back then. I also have it now, which I'm really happy with. And the base I really liked because of the transparent. I was like, oh, this should be transparent yellow as well instead of clear transparent. But yeah, I didn't have that part. So I probably didn't build this base. I don't know if I had that many. Yeah, I think I didn't understand that this were some kind of instructions to build it. Was like that's how they build it. And you can figure it out for yourself. Now these I remember as instructions. Now this one I did build because, like I said, I had a lot of classic space, so I had the parts for it, so I could build it. But this I really enjoyed looking at. It's got the big transparent yellow plates it got a lot of transparent yellow bricks and this i really enjoyed looking at and dreaming that i could build it let's only flip one page oh, and this is the iconic scene for classic space i really enjoyed this Yeah, because I had the bricks with the space logo on it, and I had a lot of space figures. And if you figure out why those two on the bottom, they were wearing the wrong shirt to me. But yeah, that was the story. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it with this spaceship on the background, the 924. I really like this one too i built that one several times and maybe the other one in the background as well but i had to take apart the 924 for it so i could never have two of them at the same time and this car i didn't understand this one i was like yeah that's a space car but this i didn't understand and the forklift in the back i built that as well but I didn't understand the wings with wheels. That was not an option in my head. Oh, here it builds a very big spaceship. I don't know. No, I never built that. I don't have the. I didn't have the nine two eight. I still don't have it. Well, yeah, maybe I have most of the parts in spare now. Well, except the wings, I ran out of wings. But I still need the printed parts, at least some of them. I think those two with the space logo I have, the blue rigs, uh, the ones with the arrow down. I think I have one of the two. And then LL928, logo on the Legoland 928. And the uh, slopes, the yellow transparent slopes, I don't have them anymore. Neither I have the blue slope with the space logo. So those will be the most expensive parts to get. But it's still a lot cheaper than getting the set. But then you, I would like to have the manual also. And maybe I would want to have two so I can build this uh, plane as well. So I have both of the versions. Yeah, this skipped my brain because I didn't think it was possible for normal people to turn into brick heads and this looked like a normal person because he had the shirt with the pockets and this one had the breather on front. I was like, that's not how you're supposed to wear it, dude. You should wear a space helmet and you shouldn't have any brick as a head. It's not a head, it's a brick, it's a building part, it's not a head. 
So I really dislike them. I really dislike those pictures. I did enjoy uh, this vehicle, but again because of the yellow transparent brakes and the green transparent ones. I really love those two because those together make me think of space. And uh, this one sending an SOS. I didn't figure that was with uh, power functions because it didn't have power functions. It's almost like that's just a normal transmission. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it's just sending from the antenna. So it isn't with the, the power functions. Oh, thank God. Then I still viewed it uh, correctly as a kid. Yeah, the spaceship I liked, but the uh, brick guys, no. No, 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 no. no. It's not possible. They, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be here. <laughs> well, this. Yeah, I didn't like this build that much. It only had the transparent front. But the transparent doors on there. There you go. There they are. And that one I didn't like. And again, it was with the brick hatch. Uh, well, brick hatch, the, the brick headed people. Let's put it that way. Because brick hatch is a different line. Yeah, here I really enjoyed the space view. But I didn't like this ship, but I love this ship but that's because i owned it and this building on the side i didn't understand what it was and it had clear transparent and i thought that wasn't special enough it had to be yellow transparent that was special in space that was just the way my brain worked yeah and then i thought this was not an option at all they had a lot of red in there i was like that should be gray or blue and the yellow it, yeah, maybe the yellow was possible, but the red wasn't possible in my mind back then. Right now, I would say like this is a nice one, but I probably would replace the the three stands with instead of red, I would do it with a uh, light gray or blue. That looks like a space home or something. And again, the nice plane, and then. We have another build. I am building this right now here yeah, without the printed bricks inside out. I just use the normal bricks because they are too valuable. Uh, I think that's acceptable as well since you don't see the prints. But yeah, the yellow, transparent yellow sloped pieces. Those are uh, pretty expensive, I think. It's not as expensive as a USC dish or something like that, but it's expensive enough that you don't just buy like 10 of them for the fun of it. Like you really need to have them and need to want them to buy them. So for the nine to eight spaceship, I will buy them. But for this ID book, well, if they are in a hole that I get, then I will keep them, uh, but I uh, will not buy them separately, I guess. And on the top, all those brick-headed aliens, I believe they are representatives of. Yeah, I, I still can't get my head around that. I don't like how they are built. It's not, not how a person or alien is supposed to look, I believe. But yeah, that's just my view. It's not like you should have that. And that's the end of my book. I'm missing the part where they visit the castle people, but I didn't have that much yellow. I did have some of the castle men, I think. We had a small set, but we didn't have the yellow castle back then. Uh, right now I have uh, three of them on display, uh, like you can see in our video. I'll put the link down below to that one if it's already posted. Uh, um, 
I also have a fourth one, but uh, fourth one, no. Well, it's number four. Let's put it that way. And that one is missing all the minifigures, so I don't consider it as owning another castle. But yeah, it's uh, it's still the castle itself. It's complete, so uh, I will probably build the alternative build of the castle with a long bridge in front of it and then let the other minifigures uh, cross that or something but I'll have to ch figure out what to do with it maybe I will use it as uh, an expansion of the castle to have one of four white yeah that uh, can be an option too well, I don't know yet uh, I'll have to look into that. But this was the the Lego book that I really enjoyed as a kid. This is the one I watched most. And next to that we had a lot of Technic bricks because my brothers were older. So this one I liked as well. Uh, we also had uh, the big red uh, Technic car. I don't know which number it is right now. But it had uh, chairs that you could wind forward and back with the 1x4 teeted part yeah that was a nice build as well that car I need to get that one back just because it was a big build it was my biggest Technic build I did I think when I was a kid I think I was 8 when I built that and it was really a challenge but uh, I was really proud of myself that I could do it maybe I was 9 but not much older. But yeah, that's uh, the book. Next video, we will go through the Technic book and we'll see what that's about. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.